What's up, this is Hubscaps with the High Definition Reviews. Today we're going to be restoring a computer system using Norton Ghost and an image file, a GHO file, ghost file. And this is a method for users who want to restore their system and don't have a CD-ROM drive or a defective CD-ROM drive. We'll be using a 4 gigabyte USB 2.0 memory stick. So the first thing you need is to go online and get HP Windows Format Utility for USB Key. You can just type it in, Google search, and you'll find it. <clears throat> it installs just like a driver package, like most common HP stuff. There you go. Now it'll show up on the desktop. Now you insert your USB key so the program recognizes it. It'll show up. And remember the name of the drive letter. This one is F. What you do is you select your USB key. Make sure it's FAT32. Erase the label. Uh, quick format works. And then click, this is important, click create a DOS starter disk and then go to bootdisk.com and get the Windows 98 SC uh, MS-DOS files and download the contents of that. So you look on your desktop for Windows 98 SC and then it goes OK when it finds the correct files. When not, that OK is not enabled. But you just click Start and it's like, do you want to erase all the crap on it? Yes. Now it's formatting and creating the MS-DOS system files. Now it's correct. Close that. Now this is really important. This is the ghost file. This is 1.82 megabytes. It's uh, Norton Ghost 1.8, I think. But this is the only one that works with this ghost file, my restore image. So what you do is you send that directly to your F drive and now once that's complete just restart your computer and since this is gonna kill everything and just hard boot kill it all hard boot okay now the BIOS in this has been set up to boot from USB key or to at least look for a bootable USB key when it starts up you can do that by pressing F10 and mess with the boot options in the BIOS most compacts have F10 as their listing. So, uh, what you do is you unplug your. Well, actually, no, that has my image on it, so leave it on there. But this is how you deal with your BIOS. Press F10 right when it boots, and it takes you into. Or, what the hell here? little trial and error people computers not digging it what the hell hmm okay well let's program again F10 system settings boot options boot order set to boot from USB key which is correct. So, hmm, we got issue here. I wonder if it's just this USB key that's giving it issues. Let's find out. If it boots right to the 98SC boot disk, then it's my external hard drive. Yep, it's the hard drive. So, what I need to do is go back into Windows and copy over this uh, ghost file directly to my memory stick and uh, this is a compact V5000 uh, Celeron M at 1.46 gigahertz kind of an older computer but it's nice because it has a really widescreen display thankfully I had modified it so that it's partially usable and not like 
retarded slow. Okay, so there's the ghost file sitting on the desktop. Now I'll just go into my computer here. and run see there's the ghost and now you just click and drag and now it is copying 771 megabytes of data thankfully this is USB 2.0 so it'll only take about two minutes but um Another thing to know is when you're running Ghost to try to reformat a computer system, the external drive where the image is held has to be FAT32. If it's an NTFS drive, it will bypass the system boot up and it'll just try to go to Windows. I think that's what happened when I tried it just now. But um, it's great because if you have netbooks, which I do, I have a couple of them, Sony P and a Asus 701 4G, the very first netbook that Asus ever made. It's also the only 7 inch notebook they ever made. And uh, yeah, those systems do not have a CD ROM drive, so it's kind of, you got to kind of get creative in your approach. And I figured out Norton Ghost is the best way to write because it doesn't install like the system startup files where you have to like redo XP all that shit like after that it actually clones the hard drive so as soon as this is done copying from Norton Ghost and then the ghost file to the hard drive when it's done and restarts it'll restart and instantly go to the desktop so there is no need for a Windows XP setup which takes about an hour and all that stuff it's a direct clone of the hard drive so remember how that works and and uh, yeah, I'll put some comments and notes in the uh, description. Just a simple like step by step, one, two, three, four, you know, like just if you don't want to watch the whole video. Okay, now that that's connected to that, I can completely remove this, kill the computer again. Hard boot. All right, now it should go directly to Windows 98 SC boot, directly off the stick, which it is not for some reason, WTF. I'm not liking this. <laughs> Got a job to do, people. All right. So, give it a second. Let's try this again. What the hell? It's like bypassing the BIOS. It's not letting me boot from USB. F10, F8, whatever. 10. Okay, so gonna boot option it, F10 and F10 delay, CD-ROM boot, disable, floppy boot, disable, USB diskette on key, Happy needs to be down all the way, F6, and notebook hard drive, F6, boots last, so F10, save, boot. Now, it should boot from the USB key, if not, I'm going to be like, what the hell, because it's complete bullshit, there we go. Now that we're inside a makeshift USB key DOS, just type ghost. And it loads Ghost directly from the USB key. And now what you do in Ghost is you see this. And it is mouse compatible. If you have a mouse, you can use that too. But you go local 
disk from image and then it shows up your ghost image is right there and you press tab a few times to highlight it and then you just press the space bar boop, and it will uh, put a cursor down there and then the largest is going to be your internal hard drive and red is where the image is coming from so it's all good and then you tab down to OK destination will be overwritten and there we go we are now flashing the internal hard drive with a makeshift version of DOS reading directly from the Datastick Pro without using a CD. So it seems like a complicated process but it is necessary for netbooks. This is Hubscaps with the HD reviews. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you for watching my tutorial. Alright.